Bug Lab. Um, I asked him to uh, put this on tape and let you know that he's okay, he's alive and well, and, and live in Las Vegas, and, and here it goes. I've been underground, people have been hiding me out, shifting from hideout to hideout, and the government's been on my tail. Uh, I've been killed, you've been killed, uh, you name it. I've, I've heard unbelievable stories. Radiation detection is, is one of the things that uh, you know, I spend my time with, and uh, I design, repair, and, and sell different types of radiation detectors. Uh, in fact, one of the things people thought I did was develop film badges. I don't know where they came up with that idea, but I, I, I don't do that. Uh, the main problem I have with the UFO community is, is, number one, here are people that essentially their income is derived from UFOs. And that's the number one thing I have problems with. So uh, essentially for them to make money and support themselves, they have to come up with ridiculous stories or at least prove that they're at the forefront of knowledge. You're dealing with a bunch of people that uh, are essentially a collection of psychics, <laughs> astrologers, people that believe every other person on the earth is, is an alien, that there's reptilians and, and uh, all these different species that live underground, aliens that walk around the street and just hassle people to annoy them. <laughs> believe me, I'm not part of that. I don't deal with those people, and that's uh, you know essentially what happened with Jacques Vallee when he came down here. Uh, you know, wanted to know the UFO story. He came down with his uh, movie producers, and uh, you know his theory has been uh, spacecraft or from other dimensions and things like that. And I essentially laid it out. Well, this is you know essentially what I was exposed to, and uh, you know how the crafts work and things like that. It has nothing to do with uh, other dimensions, and uh, you know ever since then, <laughs> Jacques hasn't had a very high opinion of me, but. Uh, that's essentially carried throughout the UFO community. If you contradict what they say, uh, you know, again, they, you know, they make their income off, off of something like that, so they have to be the ones that know what's going on. Uh, a lot of attacks on you personally, a lot of attacks on the story, a lot of disbelief, uh, media people, UFO people. Um, you stick by the story here now? You've had a couple, it's been a couple of years. Absolutely. It's coming up on four years. That's what happened. It's interesting that nobody from the military, nobody representing Nellis or any of those folks have, have ever said anything about it. They probably can't. Uh, well, I, there hasn't been much word officially on it at all. I, in fact, I don't think there's been much word officially as far as denial. They just say they have no comment. Uh, any any progress over the last ensuing couple of years in verifying parts of your background? Are you still actively pursuing that? No, I don't actively pursue that at all. I really, people think I'm uh, essentially a researcher, chase UFO stories, or you know gather information. I have nothing whatsoever to do with it. Now, I, you know, before I became interested, interested, <laughs> involved in the project. Um, I was one of the greatest disbelievers on earth. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could have topped Phil class. I would have had nothing to do with it. And uh, essentially, other than the equipment and technology that I was exposed to, I really don't carry my beliefs much further than that. You think uh, those UFOs or the flying saucers or the discs, the equipment that you said you saw, are still out there? I doubt that equipment is still there. There's been so much coverage, there are so many people looking into that area, you know, and uh, civilian and otherwise, that uh, it, they had ample time to move things, and it, where it is, I don't know, but uh, I find it difficult to believe that anything's still going on there. Okay, go right you know on. about the new one, right? Apparently you, I, John Lear are all uh, Shriners, or 32nd level Masons, whoever they are. Uh, there are no aliens that uh, it is the Shriners that actually have the flying saucer technology and uh, we came up with the alien story to confuse the public and uh, I don't remember the rest of the story but it's really exciting. That's the end of the tape. <laughs> so next time you go to a parade and you see the Shriners in those funny hats and little cars. Uh -huh. I don't know